yeah, the new alpha model is basically a take on this idea of power and influence. What does it mean to be powerful and influential? And I think traditionally when we think of that, we think of people who are high achieving, right? Who can get things done. And that's all well and good, but oftentimes the people who embody that approach to leadership are lacking in some other really important ways. So sometimes they're unethical, uh, other times they're just plain unpleasant to work with. So the new alpha model is really trying to capture that idea of power and influence and being high achieving, but add a little something to it for the modern workforce. So two things that are, I think, different and distinctive about the new alpha model are one, this focus on finding meaning and purpose in your work, really finding a sense of fulfillment as a leader in the work that you're doing and the role that you're playing and then helping those around you to find that as well. And I think the second piece is about impact, right? This idea of not just being high achieving for myself so that I can be successful or so that my organization can hit bottom line goals, but so that I'm a force for good in the world. And those two factors are really what separates the new alpha model from that traditional alpha model that's focused solely on achievement. Yeah, I love this question. I actually just met someone today who I think embodies this perfectly. So she's a rising lawyer at a big law firm. She grew up here in New York where we're filming. She went to the Cooney schools, went to Stanford Law School, super high achieving, right? All the traditional definitions of success and achievement. But I think the thing that makes her different, that really jives with the new alpha model, is a heavy emphasis on making sure that she's connecting with her work in a way that gives her meaning and purpose and that she's helping others around her to do that. And also acting in a way that is not just successful in her career, but really successful in the long run that's having a positive impact. So for example, she's great at building relationships. She cares about the people she works with, not just the people in her firm who are super successful and that she needs to be networking with, but also the people you know who help out and empty her trash or bring her food or run the reception desk. She really values every single person and I think that in many ways is the embodiment of what we're talking about when we're talking about new alpha leadership.